It is a big, noisy universe of stocks out there. Welcome to Goodbye or Goodbye, brought to you by E-Trade from Morgan Stanley. Our goal to help cut through that noise to navigate the best moves for your portfolio. And today we're looking at the buzziest topic of the year, artificial intelligence. And we're talking about how to incorporate it into your portfolio. And I'm here with Granite Shares founder and CEO, Will Rind. And uh, thank you for stopping by here today. Uh, let's talk about the, uh, I would call this a darling of this year's uh, uh, AI boom, and that's NVIDIA. Tell us a little bit about why you like this stock. Up 240%, can't go wrong there. Yeah, well, Jared, the chart, in, in a way, a picture tells a thousand stories. And the, the story this year has been all about AI, and particularly NVIDIA. And NVIDIA has really captured that zeitgeist for any investor that's looking to get exposure to AI. Now, if you think about AI as a theme, NVIDIA is a company that provides the picks and shovels, so to speak, to allow companies to thrive uh, in this particular space. The performance has been phenomenal. All right, now let's get to some of your, re your reasons here. First, we've got to look at earnings. This is a solid company, uh, but tell us what you like in the fundamentals. Yeah, so the earnings have been really when you get hype like AI, it's about can a company live up to that hype? And NVIDIA has been a company that has lived up to that hype this year. Q1, Q2, and Q3 earnings all beat expectations. And we have practically every analyst on the street expecting the company to continue to deliver. Practically, but not quite all of them. I believe there are, what, 31 buys and a couple holds there as well. What do you, what do you think about the analyst reaction to this stock? I think so far it's been pretty phenomenal. I mean, when you get that sort of larger spectrum, like you said, almost everybody's a buy. I think you have three holds, zero sells, and the average price target significantly above where we trade today. That tells you that across the street, I think the, the view uniformly is bullish on the stock. All right, and I think we could, I described it as a darling, but also the poster child of AI here. We've seen a lot of the gains uh, tied to NVIDIA performance. Tell us about this phenomenon. Yeah, so you know, in terms of NVIDIA, I think the AI phenomenon has been what has caught investors' imagination. But this is a company that, remember, was very famous for delivering in the gaming sector, particularly when people were very excited about the metaverse. And so it was a company that revenue stream-wise is diversified among its data center business, the gaming business, and of course, the GPUs most famously um, that are powering the chat GPTs and things of the world. All right, want to pour a little bit of cold water in here. Not everything's perfect. Uh, what does the stock have going against it right now? I think the biggest risk to NVIDIA is China, is relationship with China, because there is some political risk that has come into this with the export controls on advanced technologies from the United States to China of which NVIDIA gets caught up because of chips particularly. So there is some risk here. At the moment, the company has a workaround to that, but we'll see obviously how that goes going forward. But the biggest risk is this um, political element. Yeah, and let me just stick on this for just two seconds because I've watched how the export controls or whatever the specifications come out, NVIDIA crosses a few wires and magically they're able to ship a new product in a number of months here to get around them. Can that continue, do you think? I think this is a company that you don't want to bet against. Who knows in terms of the future, you know, how they'll be able to, to continue. But I think that what they've shown is it's a company that has continued to reinvent itself in different circumstances. And as of right now, despite the export controls, the company is, is keeping up with expectations. All right, don't bet against NVIDIA, but we got to talk about another ticker here. And uh, if you like AI, guess what? They got the ticker, it is AI. C3 AI is a company, uh, relatively small there. I was looking at their revenue, it's only a quarter of a billion dollars per year. Um, what don't you like about this particular stock, which is up 140 or 188% this year? So as, again, it's been up, incredible performance this year on a standalone basis, but we're not talking about this year. We're talking about next year, we're talking about the future. With C3 AI, as you said, Jared, the clue is in the name. Got a lot of retail investors excited because it had AI in the name. A lot of people piled into the stock and drove the stock price up. Now, unlike Nvidia, when we talk about hype and companies living up to the hype, you know, this company has not lived up to the hype so far. And I think going forward, it's gonna be more challenging. All right, well, that's not the only reason that you have uh, revenue guidance. That came in a little bit weak. Uh, well, I, I believe they held it, but what don't you like about the company's prospects from their own perspective? For, on, on the revenue perspective, sales are slowing down. Again, this is a company that has 
you know, a large portion of its re revenue tied to a contract with one particular company, as Baker Hughes, in the energy space. That deal is supposed to expire in 2025. No signs, clear signs at the moment that's going to review. So some, perhaps some, some uncertainty around the future revenue. But I think in terms of the, the portfolio of apps, starting to see that weaker sales growth and, of course, still a company that's not profitable. All right, one more reason ticking down these. I said it was up, what, 188% this year, a little bit overvalued? Yeah, and I think, again, if we look back to what we were talking about with NVIDIA, this time we look at the analysts that cover this particular stock, there isn't really any clear bullish sentiment. Sells, there are some buys, holds, but it's, it's pretty evenly distributed. So I think it shows you that the collective, or at least the average, price going forward is actually below where we trade today, unlike NVIDIA, which was higher. So forecast for next year, below where we trade today, sales slowing down, a company that hasn't managed to really grow into that hype of AI that was expected at the beginning of the year. All right, well, every dog has the ability to shake off its fleas every now and again. What can C3 AI do to turn it around? I think, put simply, has to be able to live up to the hype, to the expectations. And ultimately, when it comes to stocks, you have to take more than just the theme, the AI you know, history itself. Mm -hmm. We've got to see that coming through in the earnings. And so, irrespective of what the analyst forecasts say, the company now has to deliver on earnings for that to fulfill its expectations. All right, interesting stock there. And I should note, it's actually still 83% down from its record high several years ago. But just to recap here, uh, your buy is NVIDIA, and uh, let's round this out. We have NVIDIA there. Company had strong third quarter earnings results. Wall Street is bullish with 31 out of 34 analysts rating it a buy. And you see NVIDIA as a poster child say that it is a poster child for AI exposure. And on the flip side, we have C3 AI. It hasn't fully leveraged the AI boom. It gave weak revenue guidance, and it is overvalued. Uh, Will, thank you for stopping by here today. Thank you, Jared.